time for Friday Night Flights. Now, here's Sports Director Bruce Rader. Week three of the high school football season. You know, most teams started playing before school even started this year. With one of the best teams in the nation down at the beach, it is time for another year of Friday Night Flights. I'm Bruce Ra Rader, and welcome to the season premiere of Friday Night Flights as we begin on the peninsula where 5A Hampton High School, after winning its 800th game last week, went up against 4A Heritage from Newport News. And hey, here it is, marked on the turf, 800 wins for the Crabbers, a lot of them. Under the direction of Coach Mike Smith, 45 years as head coach, he's one of a kind. First quarter, Hampton in black leading 21-6. Here comes the big defensive play for the Crabbers. Darrell Wells comes up with the interception, and that led to this. Hampton quarterback, Joe Von Quillen, going to keep it. And look at the speed by Quillen, 22 yards for the score, 26. Hampton Heritage is going to at least come back fourth down play Jeremiah Boyd to his favorite target Amanye Watson that's a touchdown heritage down seven after a Hampton turnover Trey Sean Shackleford racking up the yards a 32 yard touchdown and just like that the Hurricanes have tied it at 20 Hampton however ends up on the winning end Javon Quillen again this time he scores from 20 yards out that's your go ahead score Hampton with the win over Heritage 42 to 20 win number 801 for the story Hampton football program in Southern Chesapeake. Great Bridge in search of its first win of the season, hosting the Indian River Braves. Ocean Lakes coach Chris Scott, apparently not the only head coach missing from the sidelines tonight. Great Bridge head coach Pete Gale noticeably absent tonight. Instead, it was assistant coach Olin Mansfield calling the shots. First drive for Indian River and Whites. Tyen Smith knifing his way through the Wildcat defense to set up a first and goal down, third down from the three. Braves go back to Smith and he's in for the touchdown. Braves lead 7-0. The Wildcat defense held the Braves to just that score in the first half, but Indian River would run away with it in the second half and go on to beat Great Bridge without its head coach. 35 to nothing. We're going to stay in Chesapeake. A battle of unbeatens between Mari and Grassfield. Third quarter Grizzlies wearing blue. That's Shaquan Goodman with the ankle breaker, and he is gone. 30 yards to give Grassfield a 28 to 7 lead. That'll get some props on the sidelines. Oh, yeah. And how about the next Commodore drive? The Grizzlies do it on defense. Austin Winslow with the interception, a nice sidestep. He takes it 60 yards to the house. The Grizzlies are rolling. And how about star receiver Grant Holloway? He had two touchdown catches in the first half. Quarterback Justice Bigby adds another score right here in the fourth. Grassfield runs away with a 49-15 win. The Grizzlies always have one of the best student sections in Hampton Roads, and they show it again tonight. And joining us again on the premier night of Friday Night Flights, a veteran of Friday Night Flights, Kempsville High School alum Nicole Livis. And Nicole, you flew in to that Grassfield game on Chopper 10. That's right, I did, Bruce, and I'm happy to be here once again. It was a perfect night to fly over Hampton Roads in Chopper 10, and we saw a sea of red, white, and blue as we approached. Now, those are the Grizzlies' official colors and certainly appropriate on this day that we remember the September 11th terror attack victims. I joined the cheerleaders in tossing out our little wavy footballs, and you know those went fast. And we got such a warm welcome from the guy who has the best seat in the house. Scott Davis has been the voice of the Grizzlies for the past eight years, but it's all coming to an end. State champions, your Grassfield Grizzly cheerleaders. I just love doing it. I do it for fun. And I'm, I hate to leave. Of all the reasons, I hate to leave the Grizzlies. I have loved this. They've been great to me. Uh, but my job gave me a promotion, and I've got to move to Texas. Davis is a financial planner who will now become a director of training. He's been announcing games since college and said the best part is the fans. Now checking out action from Virginia Beach schools, the 6A state champions from Ocean Lakes on the road against Princess Anne. You know, Nicole, Ocean Lakes are the defending 6A champions and maybe even better than last year. The Dolphins are ranked sixth in the nation in the USA Today poll. That is number six in the nation. Now to get this, more than 14,000 schools wow. that play high school football. The Cavalier cheerleaders hoping to get the home crowd in this game early, but it's 
seems that nobody can beat Ocean Lakes this year. Here's Cox transfer, Kalen LeBourne. He had 212 yards and four touchdowns tonight. This one goes for 65 yards. Quarterback Cody Cunningham throws for two touchdowns. He runs for one. And how about the Dolphins' defense? Oh, my. Look at that hit by Levante Taylor. He's going to be playing at Florida State next year. What a big-time hit. LeBourne again off to the races as Ocean Lakes racks up over 500 total yards of offense, while its defense limits Princess Anne to only 12. The number one ranked team in the area and number six ranked team in the nation, Ocean Lakes, shuts out Princess wow. Anne 70 to nothing. How about some more action from the beach? Tallwood trying to get above 500, hosting undefeated Lanstown. Lanstown up by a touchdown, but Bryce Dukes keeps it himself for the score and the lead, but Tallwood wanted this one badly. Marching downfield, check out the nice passing catch. Adrian Wilson to Lamar Gilbert, who stumbles his way inside the 15-yard line. Tallwood driving on fourth at about 20. This time, a timing pass. Wilson again to Gilbert in the back of the end zone for the touchdown as Tallwood goes on to win. 21 to 16, Nicole. What a night for football yeah. down at the beach because Check out these thrillers. Bayside scores on the last play of the game to beat Kellum tonight. And then first Colonial scores mm. on the last play of the game. A one point double overtime win over the Green Run Stallions. And one more final from the beach. Salem beat my alma mater Kempsville 49 to nothing. That can't be right. On to Suffolk. Coach Joe Jones and the Kingsport Bulldogs taking on Hickory. Kingsport in Maroon. That's DeMarco White. In for the score, the Bulldogs had a big night running the ball, led by Deshaun Webbington, who ran for 182 yards and two touchdowns. And Hickory running back Eric Gamboni, well, he came up with a big play of his own. The Hawks needed more of that and more scoring because Kings Fork with a tough defense would win 41 to nothing. Deep Creek, big win over Wilson tonight. The Hornets win 14 to six. Kick a chance, puts up 35 points in its win over Denby. Woodside 49-14 over the Gloucester Dukes. And we are just getting warmed up. When we return, it was a busy night involving Bay Rivers teams. A full recap, including an exciting showdown between rivals Grafton and Pocosin. And Chopper 10 makes another stop in Chesapeake, this time in Bruins country, where we check out, check in with Western Branch. Tallwood High School marching band under the direction of Tim Rossettini, the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. They sound great. And this is just a sample. To check out their entire performance, go to wavy.com and click on sports. We'll also have slideshows of tonight's games, including top 10 plays, all right there on wavy.com. And follow Friday Night Flights on Twitter at Friday Night Flights and uh, be a part of the action by tweeting with the hashtag wavy fnf that's right we've been tweeting all night so retweet us now for our second chopper stop of the night western branch high school in chesapeake where it's always a festive atmosphere the bruins family certainly showed their patriotism as a tribute to the victims from 9 11. some students and teachers sold cotton candy at the game and those proceeds will go to the virginia wounded warrior group now the student council members decorated the stadium with red white and blue buntings and also handed out flags their day started with a special tribute. During the beginning of the bell, we do a moment of silence and they tell a story as a remembrance of 9-11. Not a lot of us remember, but our parents definitely do, and they pass that down to us, and we really respect today. And while we will never forget 9-11, there was a football game to be played. Western Branch taking on Lakeland. Pick it up in the third quarter. Lakeland driving when quarterback Tyquan Holloman's pass is picked off by Nathan Lewis, who takes it all the way for a touchdown. The Bruins roll to a 35-8 win. 
And moving over to the peninsula now, Grafton and Pocosin each open the season with impressive victories. That was impressive on those highlights, Nicole, tonight. <laughs> the out. old rivals hooking up on Pocosin's home field, and it was all about the Pocosin defense tonight. They were all over Grafton, putting the pressure on the Grafton quarterback, just totally disrupting the Grafton backfield. I mean, they pushed them back here as the quarterback had to recover his own fumble, and then they did it a second time. Meanwhile, Pocosin would take a 21-point lead in the first half. They ran the ball very well. This is John Mastro Giannakis with a very nice game. Throw in Kyle Poultney scoring the first touchdown, and then it was Peck to Hicks for the touchdown. Then Hicks with another touchdown. Pocosin shuts out Grafton tonight. 21 to nothing. Meanwhile, in Yorktown, Tab trying to rebound from last week's loss to Hopewell, facing off against Jamestown. Tab in black. Seth Hoggood is going to hand it off to the running back, Rodney Hagins. Hagins with a nice run to set the tone. Nick Hunter, what a game for him tonight with the sweep to the end zone. This was one of his two touchdowns tonight. Now, after Jamestown punt, Tab running back T.J. Jones, who scored a touchdown in the first quarter with a long run as he cuts across the defense to go deep in Jamestown territory. A big night for Jones and the Tab offense as they run up a big lead. Nick Hunter, T.J. Jones, and Will Marks with touchdowns. Nick also with a touchdown catch, for, catch from Will Marks as Tab with a big running game and the big defense shutting out Jamestown 31 to nothing. And Packer Country, Smithfield hosting the Bruton Panthers from Williamsburg. Bruton and White. The Panthers lining up for the punt, but it's a fake. Daniel Jones takes it himself, and he would get the first down. And how about Bruton's Greg Dockery? Dockery back, looking long. Jalen Carr in between two Packers makes the catch for the touchdown. It was a close game at first, tied at seven. Jalen Carr here with the big defensive play of the night. Mick Turner calls his own number, but he can't hold on. Look at Carr in the right place at the right time for another score. But this would be Smithfield at the end as Nicholas Turner throws three touchdown passes to Christopher Pierce. Smithfield knocks off Bruton 36-13 and will take on Lafayette next week. Fry night mm -hmm. flights. Yeah. It's all right. We're, Tallwood High School Marching Band, the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. See their entire performance on Wavy.com and follow us on Twitter, Friday Night Flights. Get involved by sending us tweets with the hashtag WavyFNF. All right, back to the scoreboard quickly. York with a 10-point win over New Kent. Lafayette gets Williamsburg bragging rights after beating Warhill. Surrey County got a touchdown from Martez Warren and its win over King and Queen. Norview with a 42-6 win over Churchland. Bishop Sullivan gets shut out by Benedictine. HRA 50-12 over Portsmouth Christian. Norfolk Academy gets the win over Greenbrier Christian. Isle of Wight 47-6 over Kenston Force. And here is the score of the night. Nansman Suffolk Academy 84. Christian Berg, Christian 12. And that wraps up the season premiere of Friday Night Flights. Nicole Livis, thanks for being here.
being with us. Great to be here. Don't forget, check us out on wavy.com. And join us every Friday night for the best high school football show in the state.